Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Ella, for once, actually opted for pears for lunch. Um, I just get the stuff in the, um, like water. I don't get it in the syrup, I just get it in the water. Um, like the little, like, you know, fruit cups, obviously. But she opted for pears. She didn't eat the entire thing. Obviously, she ate like five or six. But that's still a win in my book because she ate pears willingly. So that's a win. Um, Tim just left to go to work. And I don't have much I really got to do. We're going to go over and visit with my mother-in-law today because she is just wanting to go over. Ella? Breathe. You need to breathe. Okay? Relax. She's running away throwing a fit because I told her we need to get dressed before we go over. And she doesn't want to get dressed and go over. But she wants to get dressed and go over. Uh, she's, she's just been in a weird mood like all week. But um, pretty much got the house cleaned up this morning. I just have to do dishes and a little bit of other stuff wiped down the counters. But most of the clutter, I think, I got taken care of today. Um, but like I said, Tim just left for work. We're going to be going over to my mother-in-law's house here in a bit. And I'm also going to show you guys the dog tags I've been working on. They're a custom order from my like best friend um she ordered six of them two for boy dogs four for girl dogs um and she wants their names on them so i'm going to show you everything with that and then i also have her phone number like on the back of them but they're embedded into the resin so that they won't get like scratched off or anything like that i know most people just put the decal on top of the resin in permanent vinyl and just call it done um, but the stuff I did, it was, I did a layer of clear, did her phone number, but I had to, like, mirror it so that you could read it when it was, you know, pulled out of the mold. Then I put down the color, and I left a little bit of space so I can put down the name and another little bit of a clear coat over top of the name. Um, but like I said, I'm going to show you guys those in a bit. Um, I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. Um... Then I'm going to get dressed, get her dressed, and then I'll show you guys the stuff before we go over. Because five, well, four of the things I need to get the eyelets into, like, pronto before they harden, harden to where I have to drill to get into it. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I am as dressed as I'm going to get today, except for my socks, obviously. But, go on. Watch out. Um, I waited... I decided to wait to get her dressed until after I am completely ready to wear. All I need to do is put on my jacket and my shoes. Because if I got her dressed now, she would not let up until I got her over there. So, we're going to wait a little bit to get her dressed. But, this is the resin stuff. So if you guys can tell, these molds are not quite full. They're pretty full, but not quite there. Um, and that's because I wanted to leave room to put the name and everything on them. And then I've also made these with the leftover resin, and I'm so excited. They're little gummy bears. Like, Can we just, like, not? <laughs> Can you guys focus there? That's better. Okay. So these I am so excited about. These I do not take out of the molds until they are completely done. But like I said, the phone number is on the back. You guys aren't obviously going to be able to see it because it's through the mold. But it is um, back there. I will show you guys that in a minute. Um, well, probably not today because they still need the last coat of clear on them but how cute are these little guys they're so ditty um so what baby what 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 you want tv 
Okay, so right now I'm just popping them all out of their molds. They're so diddy and cute. Oh man. Um, so Tim's like, you know they're gonna be really small, right, Ella? What did we tell? What have I told you about talking over me? If I'm vlogging, you wait. Honey. What, honey? I cannot get my clear cover for my mat up on my hook. There we go. Here, I will put Peppa on, but it's going to be all quiet, okay? I don't want to be copyrighted or anything. I usually try to talk over it. There you go. Um, what the heck was I going to say? Oh, but when Tim ordered me this mold, we got it um, from AliExpress. I think it's the site he ordered it from. And he's like, you know, it's going to take forever to get here, right? I'm like, yeah, like, I know. He's like, it's also going to be really small. I'm like, I know. Like, I read the measurements on it before I asked you to place it into your cart with your order. Like, I'm not stupid. Um... But he just wanted to like make sure I knew how small it was. And I had the intent to build them into earrings. I thought earrings would be super, super cute um, for gummy bears. However, I did not have enough of the purple left over to make two sets. So I'm just gonna do a set of purple and a set of the blue. What, Ella? What did I tell you about talking over me? You wait patiently until I am done. Can you go watch Peppa? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I said no thank you. You don't play with mommy's stuff. Here, you wanna play with the mold? You can play with that, but that's it. Um, I just don't want her to get hurt or anything. I mean, this is all my keychain stuff, so it's not going to, like, hurt her, hurt her. But I just don't want to take that chance. Um, but I thought these would be really cute as earrings and, like, even a matching necklace. I think that's what I might do with the purple is make it into a matching necklace earring set to sell but yeah so I'm just gonna get these hooks in here and then I'm gonna get the decals on the dog tags but I will try to set you guys up so you guys can see me put on the decals onto the um, dog tags so you guys can kind of see what my process is um it obviously doesn't take much but this is going to take longer to put the eyelets in here than it would be to put the decals on um just due to the nature that these are still kind of squishy um because it's only been like 12 hours since i've made these and it takes resin a full 24 hours to cure um but it's solid enough that I can handle it without getting sticky. Um, but they're still like, you know, soft. Um, but I'm going to get these eyelets in these other three bears and I will see you guys here in a minute. Try to get you guys to stay right there. That ain't gonna work. What if I set you guys up on the cricket inside? Does that work? That decently works. Okay. So I've got the gummy bears all done. I will show you guys those in a minute. But this is just a small little piece of the transfer tape that I use. Um, and I'm just gonna pop this off of here so that I can get to the adhesive obviously and then I went ahead and just already weeded out the names and everything last night so the first one here is Sonic which is one of her girl dog's names 
So I'm just going to put this onto the transfer tape and this vinyl that I ordered, it's a little weird. Um, it doesn't like to come off with a clear backing. Um, but then I just take this and take the dog tag and place it on there like that. Then I just do a quick little run over and then just peel off. It's that simple. And then I'm just gonna use the same piece of transfer tape for all six dog tags. So that's what's nice about this stuff is I can reuse it multiple times. I can use them at least six times um, to transfer over some stuff. So Joker, which is her one boy dog, gonna place that under the mold, a little adhesion to help it stick, and then just peel it off. All right, guys, so we just got inside. Um, she is in this outfit. Um, she had gray pants on, but <clears throat> they just got all wet. Um, so on the way over to my mother-in-law's house, luckily she put her rain boots on instead of her fancier brown boots because she would have put on her fancier brown boots we would have had to come in and immediately change anyways because it's all kind of puddles out there and if you guys watch Peppa you guys know her obsession with jumping in puddles right now she doesn't actually jump but she jumps like uh, both feet don't come off the ground but she likes to pretend that they do or whatever she has a blast, um, and obviously, I'm going to let her live her life and do that if she ever so chooses. Um, the only time I don't let her do that is if we have somewhere that we need to go, um, and I don't have time to come back in and change her pants, but we went to go over to my mother-in-law's house, and she didn't want to because she wanted to play in the puddles. We... Managed I had to carry her over crying and kicking and fighting me Pretty much, but we got like three quarters of the way over there and then she finally okay Let's go to see grandma Left grandma's house and it wasn't even supposed to happen when it did Like we went over and then Tim went outside and she followed him and he was carrying in boxes and she booked it trying to get back to these puddles, but I managed to run and catch up to her and grabbed her and was like, no, we need to go say goodbye to grandma and grandpa before we go anywhere. Um, went, she fought to say goodbye, didn't even really say goodbye. She just kind of went in. I held her so that my mother-in-law could give her a kiss on the cheek. Ella freaked out and started screaming because she just wanted to go play in her puddles. We finally left. We went, we came over to the puddles we played out in the puddles for about 45 minutes um and it was about 20 or 12 no 15 to 20 minutes the first time to get her out of the puddles over to grandma's um and then she left the puddles I told her to go climb the steps and I messed up because she insinuated that or took it as to climb the steps to go to the slide so we went down the slide like five times and then I had to like carry her up the steps and then she was ready to come inside. But uh, it was quite the adventure to get her inside and over to grandma's and everything like that. My Carter package arrived today. So if I don't remember if I told you guys, but I bought her three outfits at Carter's and then I ordered one online because they didn't have her size in store. I ordered it in store though. Um, so I ordered her the outfit she's got on, which has got a yellow and white striped onesie with a, like, blue flowery vest. And then it had the gray pants, but she's got blue jeans on now with those. Um, the onesie and the, um, vest. And then she has another outfit. It's another vest set. It's got a gray vest with an embroidered, like, flower here. It's got a flower... No, a pink polka dotted onesie with flowered pants. And then I bought her a dress. It was a strawberry onesie with like an overall blue jean dress. 
<clears throat> type thing and then this like I said I saw it in store they ordered it online and shipped it to my house um, just because they didn't have it in store and I really really wanted it they did it free shipping I don't know if they do that all the time or if it's just because they did have it in store just not in stock in her size I'm not sure but this outfit comes with it's another vest set um, it comes with a like strawberry uh, vest with a strawberry print long sleeve onesie and then it just came with some like blue jean jegging pants um, which this is actually what she has on now um, just you know we have a bunch of these types of pants they're great to just throw in her diaper bag with a random onesie or a random shirt and they just pair up everything um, so it works and I like them but that's the set and I absolutely adore it. <clears throat> she has also been loving anything strawberry print. So that's why I got her this onesie with that, um, or this outfit plus that um, dress outfit. The vest sets I got in 18 months. The dress set that I picked up is in 24 months just so it fits her come summertime. I don't know if she'll still be in 18 months. I really hope she's not because then that dress probably won't fit her that well but you just relax in <laughs> so she's just out here doing whatever her heart desires but I did make a blanket I forgot to show you guys that I made a blanket <clears throat> I made it two nights ago I was going to show you yesterday and I just completely got sidetracked and just didn't think of it um, also, our one snail is gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Uh, she was like acting really weird yesterday, but then today she was just kind of floating in the tank. So I don't know what happened or anything, but uh, she's just, she was acting sus. That's for sure. But I made this blanket. So this is my twilight watching blanket because, you know, twilight is life. Um, it did get a little messed up when I made it, so I put down, you know, the the woods here. It says, this is my Twilight Watching Blanket, but the L and the H kind of got a little janked up. And then the T is a little, like, folded. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. Was the T? Yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> but... It's for my own personal use. This is not intended to sell. Um, not for this one, at least. But, if you guys are interested, these are $12 for a blanket. Um, and, let me actually set you guys down. Hopefully, I can do this before my battery dies. Stretch this out so you guys can see. It's a decent sized blanket. Yeah, it's a decent sized blanket. I think it's 50 by 60 inch. But it's in the corner here. I just think it's really cute. But if, if you guys are interested, hit me up. Alright guys, got my battery all switched out. That is what was up with the last couple of clips. And I've got tape on my foot. Um, so right now I'm kind of gathering up garbage that I've accumulated on the desk. Um, I sat down edited, uploaded, um, and I just kind of watched a few videos on YouTube here and there. But, <clears throat> now I need to go get Tim's raspberry pie thing packaged up. It's not as delicious as it sounds. <laughs> um, it's just a computer of some sort. Um, <clears throat> But, show you guys here. I have to take this up. Tomorrow is the last day that it can be shipped out to be returned. So I have to get it packaged up tonight for tomorrow. But, it's just a computer. Um, <clears throat> so he hasn't even had it a full month yet. It would be a month on Sunday, I think. But it's just this computer um it's for his printer 
uh, the 3D printer and it just malfunctioned last night for some reason. <clears throat> it was perfectly fine up until yesterday. We don't know what happened. It just stopped working. Um, so, um, he just printed out the, like, shipping label and the thing that they scan so that they know what's inside the box or what have you. Um, but it's Element 14 Raspberry Pi 3B Plus Motherboard. <laughs> That's what it says. Um, so yeah. I have to get that packaged up. He ordered, or they sent him a replacement that should be here tomorrow. I have a bunch of goodies coming tomorrow. So, oh my sinuses. Um, Tim ended up giving me a little bit of money out of the income tax money and I moved, immediately moved half of it to my savings. And then, Here. I honestly forgot that was in there. She came running out and I was like, what is that? There you go. Um, but I have two packages of the faux leather. I have some white heat transfer vinyl. And then I have some badge reels for like you nurses out there or even anyone that carries a, like an ID card or whatever on their on their persons. It's just a little badge reel. Um, so yeah, I have all of those coming. I will show you guys the faux leather and everything once it gets here tomorrow. But this is just a sneak peek of the one set that I bought. Oops. That's just a little sneak peek of the one set. Like I said, I bought two sets. Um, and then I had to get some more white heat transfer. And I'm glad that I did because I got a t-shirt order for two t-shirts today. And I need white heat transfer for both of them. So those should be in tomorrow. Um, all four items, which should be in three packages. Tim's computer thing is coming tomorrow. His other replacement Raspberry Pi. Um, which I think his stuff is getting sent up to Rite Aid. My stuff is getting sent here. Um, I have to go to Walmart, buy the two t-shirts in size 3T, a black and a red. Um, I have to get a few items from Walmart, such as tortilla shells and a few other little bits and bobs. Um... I have to go to Rite Aid and pick up her last Easter present, which I told you guys about, but I will end up doing a whole video um, closer to Easter. Got that. I got to pick up at Rite Aid plus all of whatever he's getting today and tomorrow from Rite Aid. Then I have to come home. I have... Oh, man. I have those two t-shirts to make tomorrow night. The lady wants to come. Saturday to get them so I think maybe tonight I might just go ahead and get the other colors cut the black the blue and the red that I need to get cut and then just get the white tomorrow after it comes in I don't know but I need to do dishes yet that's the only thing I haven't done yet is dishes um it's just kind of been relaxing and chilling out hanging out with her um it's just about five to seven she was down here playing with these little beads now she's in the pantry what are you doing what <clears throat> what do you want what Goldfish. You want goldfish? I don't know what you're saying. What do you want? You're not getting candy. Ah, uh ah, -uh, hey. You haven't eaten dinner yet. You haven't eaten dinner. 
You gotta wait. Where are you taking a nap? I still need that to do your laundry. Your laundry's in the dryer, shorty. <laughs> he Hulk. Or she Hulk. <laughs> ah, she's being a goofball, crazy goofball. But I'm gonna go get these dishes done up. <clears throat> and then I may do her laundry tonight. Um, I.e. fold it and then just put it away tomorrow. I'll just put it back in the basket after it's folded. Um and then I need to fold mine and Tim's laundry. I believe our friend is coming over tomorrow night. I don't know if his wife is coming with him. Um, hopefully their four kids don't come because they're loud, they're obnoxious, and they're destructive, and they don't clean up after themselves. So. Ah, uh -uh, hey, those are dirty. Those don't belong in there. Those are dirty. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're just, and they always come after she's in bed, and then I have to tell the kids repetitively to get, like, be quiet, and then the mother gets mad at me, but this whole shindig. But, real quick, up on Etsy, I listed these up. Ella Ray, hey, 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 hey. She's playing with metal lids that she's not supposed to have. But I listed these clips up on Etsy the other day, last night. Um, you can choose the clip color, i.e. the purple color. You can choose the door color, which is this pink here. You can choose any of the colors. Um, and you can even have it <clears throat> customized with your name, if I can. If I can get it to focus here. Come on, focus. You're like right there. Keep wanting to just focus on my face. Like, dude, no, focus on the keychain. Come on. Ella, hang on, honey. I'm trying to get this to. Focus on the stupid keychain. Oh my gosh, come on. I've never had this much issue with focusing on something like this. You guys can kind of see it. There we go. So you get it customized with your name on it, or you can opt to have no name on it. This is size um, 68, which is, if you guys go to the listing, you guys, I have, you guys will see the pictures that I have. Um, I have them next to a tape measure. So you have size 68. This is Tim's um, size 100. And then there's a size 85, which, like I said, it's all on Etsy there. Um, $7 plus shipping, but you also get a replacement door just in case anything were to happen. Um, it will come pre-assembled like that, but with the extra door, you obviously have to assemble it onto it if you need to. Um, but it does come with the replacement door just in case it were to break or anything like that. Um, then like I said, you guys can get your name on it. You guys can get anything you want on it. Um, except for special characters. We can't do special characters or like... I don't think he can do like the A's or the any like E's or whatever with the dashes on them. I don't think he can do those either. But if you guys are interested, carabiner, car carbiner, carabiner, carabiner, something like that. Clips up on Etsy, 3D printed. So 